Hello, my name is Jonathan Kraft. I wanted to take a minute since I'm crawling along in traffic, talk about rediscovering singing, which is an interesting thing that's happened as a result of having a scan, which I will probably talk about in some other video at some point. But I had a scan and found out that I have a pituitary tumor and it is two and a half centimeters. Your pituitary gland sits behind your nasal cavities and it is around where your carotid arteries come into your brain and feed your brain with blood. And mine are surrounded by a tumor. So I have what's called a prolactinoma. I won't go into all of that in this video because I want to talk about re relearning or reconnecting with singing, reconnecting with myself. I have a prolactinoma, which means my body overproduces prolactin. And looking at this, my body's probably been doing that for 15 years. I got a medicine called cabergoline. I'll probably talk about that in a separate video as well. It's a little teeny tiny pill. I take it twice a week, typically like a Saturday night, a Tuesday night, or a Sunday night and a Wednesday night, just kind of spacing it out throughout the week. And so I've been on that for six months. The tumor is not showing any signs of shrinkage. In fact, it might've gotten a little bigger. But it does show signs that it's becoming less solid and a little more liquefied. I've had three MRIs in the last 10 months. While wow. the first couple of months of taking Cabergoline were not pleasant. I would wake up the day after I took the pill with serious vertigo and just feel sick. Never threw up, but definitely the feeling of like, I'm going to throw up a lot, like a lot. I could get on a train, no problem, but I'd get off a train or be in a vehicle somebody else was driving and I have to mentally prepare myself for when that vehicle is going to stop. Yeah, anything that's moving at any kind of high speed, I'd have to go, okay, I'm getting off the train now and I need to stop for just a second to reorient myself. But even on days when it wasn't after I was taking the pill, just in general. After starting to take the pills, my wife said to me, your singing's back. Maybe it was about three months. So about seven months ago, your singing's back. What do you mean? We used to do this thing. She's like, you have to sing three songs. Part of who you are. You have to sing three songs before you're awake for the day. I didn't really realize that about myself, but that's kind of true. And that had gone away for at least the last five years. And maybe for the last 10 years, I didn't really sing. It's just part of who I am though. And she said, your singing's back and it feels like you're back. Huh? Those were interesting words to hear from her. And I've rediscovered it and it's, it's awesome. I have lyrics coming in from somewhere. Right. And I'm just writing down lyrics right now and I'm loving it. And I, maybe at some point we'll share all of that. This is just like a sharing the story. I guess the moral of the story is if something makes you happy and you stop doing it, there might be a reason why you stopped doing it and maybe investigate that reason a little more. A pituitary tumor like I have is usually diagnosed as many, many other things for a long period of time. I definitely have had symptoms. I mean, I can pick out symptoms from 2010. It's 2024. So I've likely been dealing with this since then, but there are things if I look back in my life, go, huh, that was just kind of a weird response or a weird thing that happened. Anyway, if there's something that you have been doing that makes you happy and you stopped doing it or something you used to do that makes you happy, drawing, painting, writing, singing, whatever that thing might be for you, start doing it again. And the other thing that I would say today is maybe if you're not doing it and you don't feel like doing it, there might be some reason behind that. For me, it's pituitary tumor. That's awesome. I'm glad there's medicine. It's not awesome. It's really not awesome. I'm really, it's really awesome that I have a good medical person or medical people around me and that they're able to figure out what it is and give me some options for treatment of it. That is great. All right. That is it for today. Thank you for listening to the story. And hopefully this is helpful and find somebody in a good place. Um, I'll talk about all the emotions and everything else that go along with it and all of that discovery process in a separate video. But since I'm sitting in traffic, mostly I just thought I would share that today.